Hey guys, my name's Elise and for this project I'm going to try and learn some basic sign language. I've decided to learn this skill as I have a friend whose parents are deaf so I think it would be beneficial for me to learn some basics to try and communicate better with them. My aim by the end of the video is to be able to complete the entire alphabet confidently and maybe even some words as well. So to start my learning process off, I begin to do research on Google on what is sign language. Sign language is a visual language that uses hand shapes, facial expression, gestures and body language. Spelling using hand movements is called finger spelling. I then discover that there are different methods of this. For my learning experience, I decided to go with the American approach by using one hand. Thinking about Howard Gardner's multiple intelligences, my preferred learning style is visual as I like to see things to understand. Therefore, I found that pictures and YouTube clips were my best learning resources. This learning experience is also very much related to the cognitive orientation to learning, which for Gottsky it says that learning is built on aspects of human development. This process of learning focuses on internal mental processes which includes things such as insight, information processing, memory and perception and are directly related to the stages of development. According to Jean Piaget's stages of development, you begin to learn language and symbols from two years old, but as I'm older, I have been through all four stages and can now think abstractly and apply logic to my learning. I did this through detecting patterns between letters and developing my own tips and cues for remembering each symbol. For example, I remember G as it looks like you're grabbing something and M as my fingers look like the three legs of the letter. I finally got there and now that I have learnt the alphabet, I can now take the next step at looking at words and forming sentences. This is a constructivist orientation to learning, whereby I am scaffolding my learning and building on what I already know. A complication that I faced throughout this was not having access to a more knowledgeable other to physically be there to help guide me through my learning. Albert Bandura's social learning theory of observation would have been my ideal method of learning, but although it was difficult at times learning independently, it was a fun experience as I had intrinsic motivation and self-determination to follow through with this and have success. <laughs> 